Hello. Hi, Kathy. On day, on day, outside. Oh, day, on day, outside. Grandma Dorothy. She'll be here in just a second. Oh. Hi, Grandma D. Hi, Grandma D. All right, we'll give everyone a few more minutes to see who else joins us and get started in maybe about five minutes. Oh. I think they're said five minutes, but they're on there. You know what these earrings? I lost my hook. Now, Noni, I'm ready. Melody? Melody? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Pretty good. Just uh, waiting to see who's all going to log in today. Um, we'll give her, everyone another five minutes or so. I just smell red when I came back. I didn't turn it on, but I just smell red. Where? I'm always a big mouth, okay, given. The, when people aren't even interested, uh, but uh, they had that where you pick up your money. Are you there? Oh yeah, they posted something. Yeah. He's picking up money. Hey. Mon Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. <clears throat> money for the elders. No, everybody over eighteen. Oh wow. I didn't even know that. That'll work. That'll help out a lot. Yeah, that'll be Tulsa Monday, uh, Oklahoma City Tuesday, and as usual, Carnegie Wednesday. I'm going to have to, I guess they mail out the ones that can't make it. Yeah, or they said send a note with somebody going to be a madhouse. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't give it to us and give us a, instead of pat on the back, a kick. <laughs> <laughs> and a Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's funny. The last time, Linda and I kind of tried to act unanxious and said, let's go on the last day at Carnegie in the afternoon. So we took our time, left here about 12, met a bunch of cars, then her phone rang and it said, y'all are too late, they already ate all the steaks up. <laughs> Dang, that'll teach you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, it better also be delicious wherever they cater it. But I said, well, we're not coming to eat, so it's okay. Aww. And uh, we just went through the got our money and came out and ate an egg roll from Fort Cobb. Uh, there, yeah, the ones I seen at Oklahoma City were at Carnegie too. Oh, oh wow! The, meal, the meals were catered both places. Oh dang! So they got two two meals. They just followed the meals, and I said, "Well, 
Dang. <laughs> I always eat my peanut butter sandwich. Mm. You know, they have a, a good meals in Carnegie. And ever since the, I moved to town 20 years ago, we've been, uh, it's off the Delawares, the Wichita's, or the Apaches. And sometimes they'd like to tend to their own. And I always get Hanatokia Tama. Tokia means when you get kind of, kind of feel funny eating from somebody, you know, like that. Yeah. So. I've got a totally handicapped girl, so they really treat her good. The Apaches. The Togui. 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 Yeah. I don't know about all that. Have you seen him? That's uh, Apaches. They're Todip. Uh, Melody, I thought about a salutation. One day. Oh. We are Kaiwas. Be kind to each other. Instead of saying, you know, bless you and everything. That'd be a kind of a lighthearted. Sounds good. What you oh, think? That's a good one. We are Kaiwas. I get the bit toy. I get the bit toy. I get Yeah, be kind to each other. Is it be toy or be toy? Yeah. Or just say that. I got the batoyi or to you know, go around with good thoughts. But I thought, be kind to each other. Oh. I got the batoyi. That's awesome. I like right? that. That's a that's a good one. That would be a good little hit too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Just, you just can't outright say Koya, Koya, do. You have to be descriptive. Koya, <laughs> oh. do. Oh. Listen, Kaiwa people. That's what that is. And when they say Tau Hadl, they're talking about the ear. That's your Tau Day. Listen. Tau oh, Hadl. Oh, oh. oh hal. I'm, I'm talking. You know how. Bait oh hal. You all listen. And then oh. the one that fascinated me the most was what we talked about, Melody. When you say bait oh say, let's ask, let's ask God. Oh. That's what that's what it means. Let's ask God. Da is uh, da ki is God. And da, da that's a part of the prayer. And then say is to ask. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's ask God. Be da tse, like that. I love that translation. I do too. It's, it's important. <clears throat> but when somebody when somebody openly puts something on Facebook as a lesson and it's so blatantly wrong and you have to sit here and take it and everybody's praising the person uh -oh. that's, that's <laughs> what I'm going through that's what I went through in the last months oh we can't say, no, that's not so, not true, not right. But our hands are tied out of just being plain polite.
is the same today. I grew up with the word green and blue or soy. Uh -huh. Now all of a sudden puts it in their mind that there's a word for green. Ah, so hey, just by virtue of being a leaf being green on a tree. But if you're going to keep it genuine and old, you just say, so hey. Oh. So hey, come on. Tain so hey. Han so hey. Han so hey. so hey. There was a woman named that. Blue eyes. Oh, that's pretty. Everybody okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm just making bath bombs over here. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Talented. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> bath bombs where you put them in your bathtub and that foams all up. It makes like fizzy, like a fizz in your bathtub. And it, it makes it smell good, smell the sense yeah. that I got. And Kathy, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna openly compliment you. I always try to look around and see. Those um old timey Kiowa leggings are stunning. Oh with the green with the green background. Oh yeah, oh, they're pretty. Yellow, yellow, painted yellow and green. Yeah. Thank you, I hope. And I seen a dress that somebody made a regular red and black. It's not any kind of hold that good or nothing. Uh, it's just a dress, but they painted a black design on the back, like the kind the the drags that people wear on their breastplates in the back. Oh and that was really pretty. Oh and I have a plain black just a regular dress. And I was wondering I wonder how that would look if ribbon was put on it. Ooh what color ribbon? Uh, maybe just tones of two colors or something on a black dress around the bottom instead of a black skirt because we really don't know the origin or anything, what they stand for. Because now they're dressing it up with the pretty top and some of them are pretty good looking. Oh, the you mean the ribbon skirts? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them are pretty. I got one made with a, a black black background, but I might be graduating oh, like from uh, being graduated from Bacon. So I got the Bacon colors on the ribbons. White Ooh. and red and yeah. I can't wait. Can't wait to get out of there. <laughs> uh, when, when when are you gonna graduate? Spring of 23. Next hey, spring. coming up. That's awesome. I know it. They got me taking 13 credit hours time. It's like, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> well, hang in there. I'm trying. <laughs> last, I, last semester. That's awesome. I had to talk to Tony today and because I wasn't understanding what the heck was going on, but Apparently they don't, the colleges, I don't understand. They, you know, if you um, made that um, credit hour, like back in 90s, I made a credit hour, but I couldn't carry it over. Oh. To, yeah. I can't understand some of their policies either. I, I know. Could, here's a uh, melody and uh, Miss uh, Satog. Yeah. And doctor, we have several ladies. She Look how hard they had to work. And I know the procedure that they had to go through because one of my friends told me all you have to do to get an honorary one. And then 
they just gave that one so freely to Dr. Dr. Joe. And oh. Parker's it took several several years of because uh, the lady and Daniel Harbor and all of them done that. I know because uh, see we went to Melody's graduation. And I was really impressed. You never told anybody that that was the first time that anybody ever got to pray at one of those. Melody, I'm looking at your picture. Oh, that was awesome. Oh. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. This is, this is just a dumb little Kiowa woman that didn't know what the bark she was doing sitting at the Spanish steps in, in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you were in Rome? Oh, it was, uh, yeah. Today's the anniversary of the canonization of uh, St. Kateri. Oh, uh, the, yeah. wow. Yeah. The I'm talking because it was the anniversary of my husband's death oh. today. He's been gone 38 years. Oh, wow. Just close to Christmas. Right. Mm. And the whole, we had three florists then in Anadarko and they ran out of poinsettias. And I said, I never want to see a poinsettia again. <laughs> oh. Gave, gave mm. it to the nursing homes. I just came from my mall, Dollar General. And I'm feeling happy because I got to walk down the dollar aisles. <laughs> nice. Up. I was shopping a while, but I was throwing in one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, like I know. That's a lot of fun. Can't even go to Dollar Tree anymore because everything is not a dollar anymore. It's all like five dollars and I know dollar twenty five. I'm like, man. <laughs> Why would you go to Walmart and pay, pay five dollars for a tube of toothpaste when you can go and get the same thing at Dollar General for one dollar? I know, oh. but okay. Sometimes they come from Mexico. Why are they selling Mexico things in Dollar General? <laughs> I don't understand. You know, toothpaste here, but. We're getting Mexico toothpaste, you know. And their FDAs is different than ours, you know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh man, crazy. I hate poking the bear. I poke the bear all the time. <laughs> and my stepping high is eating at Cracker Barrel. So I can, if I'm going to eat it. And people go to some place else. I don't want to go anywhere where they're cooking my food in front of me. Right? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm oh, those. Uh, what is it? Those Japanese? Is it Japanese uh, hibachi grills? Yeah, that's. They it. took it right in front. Yeah. No. <laughs> my niece no. took her again. Her little two-year-old grandson there in the. They had to go, they had to take their shoes off. And she was taking him to the restroom to wash his hands. And she said, by that time, that little pot on the floor was really boiling and it was steaming. And they were coming back and there was a stranger sitting there. And she said, he stopped and started seedering himself. <laughs> <laughs> that little baby seen that steam coming out and he thought someone was seedering their <laughs> That's cute. I wish mine was trained like that, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Your boy was standing here steering himself in that. Oh, <laughs> just cute. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, I guess we should get started. Um, let's see. We have Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, Grandma Martha Nell, and uh, Kathy and. Grandma D, is uh, Aunt Carolyn with you? Oh. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, let's see here. Um, let me 
Well, first off, um, to get us started, I'm wondering, um, Grandma Martha Nell, are you able to, if you're able to, uh, fade outside? Okay, I have to turn that noise down. <laughs> Stop my mind, daughter. You go at home. Hey, oh, yeah. Go ahead, don't get. Get doggo. Angle. More. How about a uh, big more hammer? Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we're glad that you could bring us together as we talk about our Hama language again and what we can do to. Um, teach people uh, and learn ourselves as we go. Uh, we thank you for a beautiful day that we had today. Uh, thank you for everything that you've given us, um, our family's health, our health, um, even the food that you give us. Please continue to watch over others who are not as um, lucky to be in spots that some of us are in. I'd be thankful if you are there. Um, we pray that you will watch it and guide over everybody during this um, holiday season. It's a busy time and we want everyone to be careful so that we can continue um, working with our language into the new year. Um, thank you for everything that you do for us. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Thank you. I'm talk. Um, let's see. So, um, I got a message from uh, Courtney, and she said she's uh, not feeling good, um, so she can't join us tonight. Um, so let me let's see. I was gonna pull up our little, um syllabus and look at our topic for tonight. Um, so what I wanted to do is continue our discussion on um, Kiowa grammar. So Kiowa nouns, pronouns, verbs. Um, and so that's the first one. Let me see, I'm looking for the email I sent so I can share it. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so share my screen really quick. So can everyone see this? Barely. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of small. Let me, uh, I don't know if I can make it bigger. Um, but we want to continue our discussion on Kiowa grammar and then talk about uh, teaching and working with high school students. And then um, I don't I don't think I don't think we have anyone on here who um, is working on getting credentialed. So we'll uh, we won't do that uh, room, but we'll probably we'll continue our Kiowa Proverbs translation that we started last week so we can see if we can get a little farther in the transcription and translation of that uh, recording. So that's our goal for today. Um, Melody, is Hyundai. it all right if I just listen through these? Because I'm trying to get absorb the verbs and the nouns and all of that. I just thought oh. I would. <laughs> oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Of course. Um, and then when we when we start, uh, well, well, I'll just kind of pull up the glossary and review what we did last week in case people who are watching this want to, uh, you know, kind of continue that. And then uh, that'll be for a few minutes. And then we'll go into uh, spending the rest of the time doing our translation of that Kiowa Proverbs uh, tape recording. Uh, we made some we made a, a dent in it. We started uh, the process last week. So I'm excited to continue that. Um, so let me find 
the glossary. All right, so what we um, started with is, well, let me, let me open up the other, um, I have to open up the textbook too. Cause we like, uh, I wanna go over the, uh, basically how a, a Kiowa, a learner um, could use the glossary and the uh, course packet from the OU Kiowa language classes. Um, to help them figure out how to put together a Kiowa sentence. And that's kind of what we're working towards is what, it, what do Kiowa sentences sound like and what do they include and all of that. So I'm finding the textbook, there it is. Okay. Let me share my screen. All right, so we talked last week, we started, uh, we kind of went over um, the different uh, parts, I guess they're called in English uh, parts of speech or the different uh, functions of the words that we have in Kiowa and what they what they do and how they, how we can communicate. And so kind of thinking about it in terms of nouns, pronouns and verbs is kind of what we were talking about. So. Here's the glossary, the Kiowa English student glossary. And um, the glossary is organized uh, using the Kiowa um, alphabet, which is in this order here. And so last week we kind of started by picking out um, some verbs and kind of thinking, looking at the ways that Kiowa verbs are conjugated, which is basically the way that the word changes based on what you're talking about. And we also observed that if you look, there's 918 pages in this glossary so far, and majority of these of the words in the Kiowa glossary are verbs, which you know means that our language is an action language. It's um, you know, it's about doing things and it's about always uh, changing and never just like uh, staying still or static. It's always changing and talking about what's happening around around us in the universe. Um, so uh, we talked about verbs and we talked about these um, uh, tenses here, the verb tenses. And so we talked about how to read the glossary um, and how we can use these verb tenses to create um, a Kiowa sentence that more or less makes sense in thinking in Kiowa. Um, another thing we talked about was we were looking for some patterns on uh, what pronoun we need to include when we're talking about a in the negative tense. And then also we talked about what, what the ending looks like if we're using the hearsay or storytelling verb tense uh, when we're, we have a noun, I mean a verb. Um, so that's verbs. And also that you can't just say the verb by itself. Um, you have to always have a pronoun with it. And so for the pronoun, let's see if I can pull this up. Um, where'd it go? Oh, did I close it? There you go. I think I closed it. Let me open it again. Okay, so for the pronouns, we have the Kiowa language, um, this book right here, you've probably all seen this. Um, it is the course packet for the Kiowa language classes at OU. Um, starting on page three are these, what we call pronoun charts. And so we reviewed these last week to kind of talk about how you might use these pronoun charts. But on page three is the three part pronouns, which is where there's somebody who's giving something there's someone, there's a thing that you're talking about, and then there's someone who's receiving whatever it is that is being given. And then there's two part pronouns, uh, which have uh, basically somebody 
who is doing something to someone else. That's a two-part two part pronoun. And then there's possessive and mental pronouns. And we kind of talked about like the difference and basically the difference is uh, they're both kind of uh, possessive, meaning you're talking about like mine, yours, ours, we, but the mental, the difference with the mental is kind of, it's more like it's in your, it's in your head. It's in your, um, it's the way it's a concept, I guess, as opposed to being uh, something that you have possession of. And then you have basic pronouns, self pronouns, and we talked about to go off, which go with the verb um, I. And all of these, um, we have to use one of these, and we have to use the right one to make sense with the verb that we're using. So we have to use the correct uh, verb tense based on what we're talking about. And then based on who we're talking with, and how many of whatever it is we're talking about, we have to use the right pronoun. And if we use the wrong words, then no one's gonna understand us. <laughs> and that's how we make sense of things. So that's kind of how we uh, reviewed verbs last week. And then another uh, thing we talked about was uh, nouns. And there's a lot fewer nouns in Kiowa in English. English, the English language has a lot of nouns, um, it's mostly nouns. And so it's, uh, it's just, that's kind of just a big difference. Um, but with the nouns, there are two, there are different types of nouns and they're kind of classified. We call them plant nouns or animal nouns. Um, and then you also have to be aware of if you're talking about one or two things, or three or more things, because many times there's a different way to say it if you're depending on how many things you're talking about with the nouns. Um, so that's as far as we got last week. Um, and then there's other parts of speech in Kiowa. There's adverbs and there's adjectives that things that describe the noun and then adverbs like describing the verb. Um, but I think the thing we wanted to kind of think about this week is how can we use all of this information to put together sentences that make sense in Kiowa, that like we can be understood. So um, that's kind of where we landed. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything that anyone would like, would like to add to our little overview of what we talked about? All right. Um, so uh, let's see here. Do we want to like give a couple examples of um, Kiowa sentences? Or do we want to look at some Kiowa sentences and see if we can figure out what are the verbs, what are the nouns, what are the pronouns? Let me go to one of these lessons here. Uh, let's see, maybe one of the more, like these are kind of some of the beginning lessons. Let's go to maybe like lesson two or three. I'm looking for the responses. Well, Melody, can you hear me? Huh. Uh, I don't know what you have on your screen but the, the screen I have it says it's talking about Grandpa Rabbit oh hey well that's awesome <laughs> uh, let's see here let me try to oh 
Oh, that's because I pressed the wrong button. Okay. So you should see the uh, OU textbook with the little conversations. And what I was doing, I was looking through here um, and looking for an example sentence. I'm gonna go to maybe like, I don't know, lesson. I'm looking for ones that have more uh, words in it. Okay. Um, would you, uh, would our um, elders agree, like, are these good examples of Kiowa sentences? The kind of where are you going type sentences and questions to kind of look at our pronouns? Okay, so how about oh, let's see to go. So in the question, we have our question and then we have our pronoun aim. And then here we're talking about work. So um, and this is roughly translated to are you are you going to work? And then this is so aim is using a basic uh, pronoun, which means I'm assuming that banma is a basic uh, type of verb. And so to respond, you would use ah, like saying, I, yes, I am going to work in your response. Um, Hande imtsai tha. So how would this sentence change if we said, Instead of I'm going to work, I went to work. Like yesterday, I went to work. Well, I saw they bought. Okay. I went so we, to work. I didn't say yesterday. I just said I went to work. Oh. Key, key day was yesterday. I think. <laughs> yeah. Key day. Key day. Key day. And so what you did was you just dropped this part and you just said this, the, you changed it to just ending with ba. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the past tense, I'm guessing. Uh -ho. Um, let's see, so this is a present tense. Um, what if I want to use the storytelling tense? Would we say, like if I said, someone told me that uh, she went to work would I uh, like if I'm you know someone's telling me a story or telling me something that happened about going to work um would I add that hail to it or hail at the end instead of ma you'd have hail so it would be like uh and I I wouldn't use a pronoun no. because it's a it's a basic verb right so right so you wouldn't use that same pronoun there because that means I so it's say like, I don't know, um sate ba is it sate ba hadel or sate ban well, you went hadel. to work. So you're talking about a third person going to work. Uh -huh. So that your pronoun's gonna be that third person, either by name or um uh, description of who went to work. Something. And you weren't there to see that, but you're just 
overhearing it. So you're telling somebody. Huh. Like if I said, like my daughter, mm -hmm. Jonah sought the handle. Mm -hmm. So you used to think that she went to work. I mean, you're not real sure, but you thought like you heard reportedly. That. Yeah, reportedly went to work. <laughs> I like seeing that translation. And when I'm looking at like uh, Parker McKenzie's notes, he says reportedly. <laughs> That's a good way to, to put it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kathy, do you have any um, examples or questions? Or other, other examples? No, I'm just trying to get this right. It's not easy. I'm just trying to follow along, you know. <laughs> oh, it's complicated. <laughs> um, you know what? I wonder if we can find uh what what's the um is it ba or banma, the um the word in the glossary for the verb went or to go. To go. To go is banma. Banma. Okay. Yeah, banma, it means to go. I'm going to try to find it in the glossary because I, I want I'm curious what the verb chart look I mean what the yeah the verb chart looks like there it is okay yeah um, I like that it's not just as simple as to go like in English it like you know how in English it's like to go that's but it. I like how it's it's got we've got some context here. <laughs> so you're intending to go. You're get, it's like it's more like you're getting ready to leave. It's not really like you are gone. Yeah, yeah. That, which is different from how English is. Um, so I guess we got to be careful about that because maybe there's another word that means. Well, actually, yeah, there is, because I, I, right? Isn't that what means? Like, you went off? I? I do. Um, is that I do? I think so. Uh, let's look. So we want to look at this chart here. Um, Bahadil right here. In our, that example that we were talking about. Uh, um, yeah. Please. Oh, uh, before we look at I go, I wanted Hande uh, Hande uh, So for the negative, like if I said, like my daughter didn't go to work, <laughs> um, or she's not going. So would I uh, remind me what the is it was it Han Han Han. Han. Okay, so I would say like so Hajona. Han, Han Bama, ba, Bama, Han Bama, Han Bama, Bama. It is uh, Hot Soha. Oh. So, what was that? You added a word. In this one, it's just she didn't go, right? Ha. Han Bama, she didn't go. You didn't Han say you, but you didn't say she didn't go. So not go. Um, yeah. Um, um, oh, I see. I see what you're saying. So if I'm saying like she didn't go to work, then I could say has Jonah Han sought the bomb. Oh, yeah, you could stick that in there or just say that she, if you're already talking about it, you can just say this part. Mm -hmm. OK, just shorten it. So, yeah. Kathy, that's where uh, the context is super important. So like if I guess if we were like, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but if we were writing in Kiowa, like I feel like when you're writing it, like say we had a child or a student doing a worksheet or something, you know, and we wrote it out because you're not in the context of having a conversation already, we probably have to be more descriptive. So it probably sounds a little weird <laughs> to a speaker because um we're we're trying to get extra detailed, and I guess we got to be careful not to get too detailed. Is that so, accurate? Han Bama. Han Han Bama. Is not go. 
or do you just say bomb off? Mom. It's not yeah. go. I mean, you don't say Han then in it because that's yeah. a double negative. Oh, that's a good question. How would you? So, do, if I said, uh, like for me, Han Afan uh, or Han Afamo. You have to say that, Han, to give them the idea you're talking about negative not that you didn't do it. So then the double negative that it doesn't mean the same thing like it does in English? Yeah, because well, how would you use these two, two little words here with the sentence if you're trying to say that, that you didn't go somewhere? Um. Like, let's say, uh, what's that word for store or shopping? Um, yeah, that top one. one. So if I said I'm not, I or like I didn't go shopping, then I would say, on a Right. And then your um, listener knows what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> you have to say it that way. It's just the way Kyle is. All right. So, Kathy, we got to make a note of that <laughs> to make sure we say on. Make sure they know you didn't do <laughs> on. that. Yeah. You didn't do that. That's why I think I, I want to recommend to Dane when he updates us again, if he puts in parentheses that Han. So, so that Han Bahail reportedly went so if you're putting a person's name in there would you say Han Melody you know Bahero well you're saying uh, are you saying that they didn't go right Melody didn't go. reportedly didn't go <laughs> would you say Han ba Ba ma hadel or just <laughs> no, like, no. hearsay is right below that. <laughs> that line that hearsay is right below that negative. USA, USA Melody Hon 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 that's Dorothy. Yeah. Oh, aho. You know, it's kind of funny. I When I look at these, like, other, like, these tenses here, I'm like, I try to think of an example. Like, what would be an example of this? Like, when would you ever use this? I'm trying to think of that. And sometimes it gets hard with some of these verbs. But that's kind of a fun exercise to think about is uh, practicing putting the correct uh, pronouns you know, with these verbs and seeing if it makes sense. Like, we'll not be going so honey, but ma, ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Hana ba ma, ma. Hana ba ma. Hana ba ma. Okay, I can see. That makes more sense. Because you're talking about you're definitely not going to go. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So I guess, yeah, I guess we have to be careful of what the situation is that we're talking about. <sighs> I wish I was a first language speaker. All this would make sense. And I don't have to sit here and try to figure it out. It feels yeah. like a complicated <laughs> puzzle. I'm getting I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what happens if the when you know how to speak when you do all break it up 
and try to do the two languages, it gets confusing. And then after a while, I sound like okay. the learner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally it does. I'm... Yeah, you get all confused. <laughs> oh, man. Well, th this is helpful, though, understanding how we would use these in a real conversation, you know, how, like, what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. Hi, Allison. We're just uh, talking about Kiowa grammar. <laughs> <laughs> how, how confusing it can be. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry I'm late. I was on the doing some <laughs> other Oh, it's all good. Glad you could join. We're recording, so the recordings will be shared um once I get them all posted online. Oh great. Um Courtney said she can't join, so she was hoping you'd were recording sending it out. So oh I will for sure. Yes, yeah, she messaged me and I was like, Oh, that's oh, that's too bad. It's it's hard this time of year because People are busy, but then a lot of people are getting sick, you know, so that's uh, me and my family. We were all sick all the past two weeks. This is the first week all the kids are back in school. So <laughs> crazy. Um, let's see. So we talked about, oh, we wanted to look at, uh, how do you say this? I, 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 go. I, go. I, go. I, go. I go. Okay, so I'm going to go up to this one to see what this, now this is where we would use those to go off pronouns, right? The ones that are. I, it's A I, I. Oh, uh, let me go find the pronoun chart. Can you still, can you see what, see it when I'm switching over between these two documents? Yes. Oh. Okay, all right, just making sure. Okay, let's look for I go. Um, so Alice and we're just talking about putting last week we reviewed the parts of speech and this week we're looking at putting some Kiowa sentences together and seeing how Weird. hilarious it is. <laughs> See if we can confuse each other. <laughs> Should be in there. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. You passed it up. Oh. Did I pass it? No, that's an A-G, but it's A-I-G-U. Uh. Oh, I'm in the wrong. Uh, I need to probably go. Let's see. I in the AI, right? Yeah, AI is what you need to go to that group. Where were you? Oh, right, right here, maybe. Where yeah. is this going to uh, be? IG. Yeah, see that AI yeah, guy. Okay. okay. Right. Hyundai, Grandma Dorothy. Where is it going to be taught? Uh, Honda Hi Ga. I guess uh, we're just uh talking about it so that we can think about how we would teach it to, you know, to different ages of students. If we were, you know, when we're teaching. Either I'm super mobile or I'm getting further confused. Sorry. We're just winging in it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> We're just trying to confuse yeah. everyone. See how confusing we can get today. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, go off. I do. Oh, I didn't realize you would use this word if you're trying. Like, okay, would I use this word if I'm trying to, like, if I say, go start the car? <laughs> go start the car. Would I use this verb? You could say, yeah, yeah you could. Uh, so let's see, what would I, um, like if, let's see, let's go to the verb chart. So here's the pronouns that go with it. Mm -hmm. So let's see, let's pretend I'm telling my son to go start yeah. the car. But if, I so do. I would say, but, but I, uh, but what if I need to describe, cause he's a little, uh, a little bon, and yeah. <laughs> I have to uh, explain in detail everything. So, where would I put the, the word for car in this? Like, if I said "bot I," and he didn't know what I'm talking about, 
<laughs> what would I don't I either. <laughs> Uh, Hatsu Anatonia, car. Automobile. Oh, oh, that. Hey. Automobile, either way. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, it was automobile. Automobile is tough guy. Could I say? Can you say auto? Mm -hmm. Auto? It's yeah, because like it's wheels. Car. They're talking about uh, it. It yeah. is, but that's what we told it. Mm -hmm. and, that's yeah. and that's so. That's okay if I say that, Claudel. Mm -hmm. Because that could okay. be wagon too, you know. Anything that moves on uh, wheels, I guess, is what it is. Oh, okay. So uh, let's see. If I said um, uh, to my son, vision, Claudel, but I. It's Claudel. Yeah, Claudel. Claudel. Auto, auto, auto. With the pop oh, K. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's hard K. Auto. Auto. Oh, oh, like almost like knife. Auto. 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 I could. I. I am. And I am. Oh, I am. But then you're mixing your English version when you're saying. Start it. Mm -hmm. It's oh. just too too confusing to teach it that way. I think, and I just might. I mean, it's fun hearing them, but it just it really. <laughs> but how would it be said then? Um... And if you go and you teach a class like that with all the verbs, and then you get some old Kiwa, which we don't have too many left. They're not going to understand a bit of that. I know what you're doing, um, Melody. That's awful. It's, uh, that's just constant with that. I'm trying to think of my cough syrup, what it is. <laughs> uh oh. What's I got to do with it? I forgot to take my allergy medicine this morning, so now I'm suffering. I'm paying for it. Yeah, poor thing. <laughs> Melody, just tell him, call us, start on. Dolores, all my beloved. Even in old cut, a bigger, but even in Kiowa, when you say, I mean, all just talking. They still, the Kiowa, the proper Kiowa is still saying he jumped on like you would on a horse. I'm all mm -hmm. So we still have the Kiowa language like that. And the we either go one way, I'll say, oh, my bill. I call him to him, him to but ho, I. Oh, it's all modern Kiowa. Well, so uh, Honda inside the grandma Dorothy. When when I when you said uh, that the bird you just said the about basically jumping on your horse and going taking off. Um, and that means you're jumping under the wheel. <laughs> I'm alta talking. Alta is to drive. Oh, okay. So like you're getting into the car? Yeah. Okay. Mark Keebone was the wonderment of the neighborhood because he got the first car, they said. <laughs> and he even wore gil goggles, you know, those uh, Charlie Brown, those uh, pilot hats. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and he had one of the, I think Mountain View had the mommy days or somebody. <laughs> but when they described Mark, they'd say, Honda Zelby. I'm all talking, you know, like, guy, he's brave. He jumped on that, you know, jumped on that car. <laughs> really, it's um, like a horse. That's the way the only description they had. Oh, huh. well, I that's think we should use that. I, I, I would be fine using that with my kids as long as they understood the difference. Um, so, Grandma Martha, what, um, what 
Where would I find that word in the glossary? Do you think it's in here? She's talking about, it's probably in there under, uh, it sounds like the word starts like a hair, like A-U-L, A-U-L. Okay. Try that one. Uh, A-U-L. Grandma Dorothy, right. can you say that again? The word? Am alt at That means to take the wheel of the car. Alt. Yeah. Am alt Yeah. You could say that, but it sounds Kaiwas are were really careful about mistaking some words. Mm -hmm. oh. and it, it might be a little off color by mistake, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could say, "Im all yeah, what means he sat down to drive. Mm -hmm. Therefore, oh, okay. you know, you'll understand these two, but, the older uh, ones do, Marion and all of them. And oh. you try to avoid that because yeah. Martha and I had a time fighting that little uh, braid for a little newborn uh, boy. Yeah. That little front braid. Four lines. Yeah, it was a possane. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And some people with evil minds just catch up right away and think you're talking off color. We don't do that. Well, with that's the word. That's the correct word. Yeah. You have to use that's it. That's the correct word. Mm -hmm. But it would be us knowing it, but the younger ones that have lived with that kind of talking, they'd laugh at you if you... They think you were saying something else. Well, well I guess they, we just have to correct them. Yeah, didn't they accent, accent that when they said post saying uh, the other way, they they would go post saying, like they drag out that O? Yeah. That's where some of the spelling comes in. Um, people try yeah. to write it. I've, I've seen families who talk longer. Oh, I've seen grandmas That's that talk right. bad with their granddaughters, and I never, I wouldn't do that. I respect them if they're two months old. I don't, you know, but I've seen grandmothers talk mm -hmm. just like you would to a lady friend. Some oh. people. And they openly talk about bodily functions That's instead of each, in front of each other, and we ne we never did were exposed to that. That's why sometimes I I shake my head because some kind of think that's a, a now thing and the on thing. I've been in those households. I don't lie. Oh, and you guys are all from the. The upper real Kai was right here on a leaf. But some of the younger folks are have already been uh, baptized in bad language. <laughs> they got there's a whole generation that ha is grown up with uh Kiowa slang. Yeah. And well, you know, that's why we're doing this so that there'll be people eventually who can correct them and just say, well, you know, this is what we're trying to get you to say. <laughs> that helps. Mm -hmm. Really does. I grew up in both worlds and I've lived both worlds. I've seen it. Hmm. I'm still looking. I know that. <laughs> Look, I look becoming insane. Yo, <laughs> if we accidentally said something off color and there were men on there, I would be so embarrassed and I'm not even sitting there. Huh. Just to know that they heard it. Yeah. You gotta be really careful. <laughs> that much Kiowa. Um, mm-hmm. I saw it don't hop some people. Mm -hmm. So okay, that's well, why I told you I'd sit in. I just listen. I just can't keep my mouth shut. Well, I don't mind. I don't mind anyone talking. Um, no, me either. <laughs> uh, can you repeat that word? The word for starting or for get like 
jumping on and going the horse oh oh good yeah okay all all oh, yeah hey look here's the word we talked about the other day round dance mm -hmm. oh kobe mm -hmm. they oh. are kobe gun let's do the round dance oh kobe gun Oh, big. It means a circle. That's awesome. And some people call it the owl dance, the rabbit dance, all kind. But I remember it was also said, big, oh, big. That's right. Come on. Yeah. Hi, Judith. How you doing? Hello. We thought we were keen. We'd be holding hands and made a big circle, but nobody ran toward the drum like they do now. That's a new invention. <laughs> right. <laughs> we just done the regular round dance step, and that's a long one. It's not a 49 step. Oh. Oh, the two step. When they do that, they get together. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sometimes sometime you're going down the hall if it's in a building. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And Kaiba men it. were choreographers. When you're dancing with them, they'd be saying, now one foot to the right, one to the left, back. Now go in a circle. <laughs> that was my brothers. They could tell you how to dance while you were dancing. That's awesome. So I'm trying to find this word and not <laughs> not find I I think that came when we were saying uh, Yolda and Alda Gun and oh all the Kobe Begudal Gun. That's a warm up. Is it A-U-L-D? D is in David or A-U-L-D? All um all the goon. Oh, to uh oh. we're talking about jumping on a horse and riding off what's that word oh i'm all cat tall or i'm tall gun is uh you know jumping on a horse if you're running toward it and you're just gonna get on i'm all 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 that means if you were getting attacked and you were running towards your horse to go ahead and go on a charge. When you're running toward, and that's how they described it when you, they were getting into a new car. You know, that's they, they didn't have any other way to do it. So I'm not looking what, in the right place. What's the... Uh, 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 like right now, I would say, a kunba na Marty Pulo all kyang. Yeah. <laughs> we went to dance and she was the driver. <laughs> you know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sounds like no Taylor. <laughs> I was in the back seat. <laughs> we're sitting on the rump of the horse. If you heard that's how they describe sitting in the back seat. <laughs> That's really the truth. That's kind of where I'm not being off color. It's uh, there used to be about six or seven of us on one horse in the summer day going to the plum bushes. And the one that got the last. Dang, six or seven. <laughs> that we were little and skinny. They're hanging off the ears, eh? No. <laughs> Couldn't be two of us get on now. <laughs> Butch Tohe be on the neck and somebody be sitting in the back backwards. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We must have been quite a sight. <laughs> Marla Redcorn be somewhere yeah. sitting on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. Uh, let's see. You didn't break the horse's back. <laughs> <laughs> Even go to a thing, he was swayed back. Only stores with square top and Apache Y. Okay. 
if you happen <laughs> to get there, but you get a pop or a nickel. Mm -hmm. Wow. I got that word. We're going to have to check it out. I got the conversation on. I'm sorry, you young ladies. I don't mean it. <laughs> it's, a, it's good. Uh, okay, I, I think I found... <laughs> it, it's, good. it's good learning. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's good. And Dolores, they all know what I'm hey, talking about. Yeah, I was... Um, Dorothy, I was trying to use that word at one time to, to describe the driver. Like you said, all oh, yeah, so. And, you know, the, uh, the persons that I spoke to, they, they couldn't understand that. But I, I know because, I mean, I knew that word because that's what I've always heard uh, the elders, you know, use that word for a a driver of a car and my mother-in-law used to use that a lot because she that's what she used to call me so i was always driving <laughs> and <laughs> i was surprised that um some people didn't our kind of, i did not know that word and then also we should talk about a law that's another yeah. one too and and yeah. by all means, you're I was only told, talking you know, Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cute. Yeah. Mom, oh, it's another, uh, another jawbreaker. Yeah. When you do things, yeah. hide your hand. Hi. Mom, Pilly. Hello, Melina. <laughs> you still snapping them fringes? I seen you. <laughs> We're gonna win big. <laughs> I think I found a word. I don't know if this is the right word, but is this the the word that you were talking about? Like getting sitting on a horse. All talk, you said talk, uh, talk something. Tall, oh, I mean, sitting on a horse. I see it. Saddle Mountain is tall, oh. open. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I love, I love these. Well, I'm going to keep looking. And if it's not in here, then I'm going to see if uh, Dane can add it in here. Um, the word for uh, that verb we were looking at, looking for. So, uh, Judy, what we're doing is uh, we were talking about last week, we talked about uh, Kiowa grammar, like the parts of speech and how to figure it out. And then today we've just been talking about how to how to put it all together to make a Kiowa sentence that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> so we've been kind of just going, you know, trying to see how confusing we can get to each other. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we've been doing. Okay. Um, so, sorry, I missed the last one. I've been so busy. Just I just I came from a different class too. So I'll get the, I'll get here. <laughs> oh, no worries. I'm glad you're here. And um we, I'll be uh, posting the recordings online um, okay. over the weekend, so you'll, you'll, I'll share those out, so you'll be able okay. to watch, watch them. Huh. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Are there any other uh, words or sentences that we want to look at right now? Because uh, I can go ahead and switch over to our other um, topic, which is our recording, to do some more translation of the Kiowa Proverbs recording. Any other examples or questions that we want to talk about? What about Saddle Mountain? I just seen that. Was that talk cope? Oh, oh. talk cope. Oh, cope. 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 Right here. Okay. Cope. Cope. Okay. Talk cope. Cope. 
Pope. Pope. Is that hard K or? Uh, Ope, it's a uh, popped K Pop. for mountain. Ope. Mm -hmm. Ope, it's a mountain. Obelis, medicine. I mean, mountain god, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Obel. It was Homer Buffalo's Indian name. Kaiwa name. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, okay. Let's see here. Now I need to find uh, the one that we were listening to. Kiowa Proverbs. Oh, I know a good one. Monday. I am Ta. I am Ta. You ladies help no, me. No, no. Oh. <laughs> I got lazy. Cam <laughs> is lazy. Yeah, Cam, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> go to I go to Cam. I Cam hot. You know, that's a lazy person. Cam hot. <laughs> that's <Hey>. me. And... <laughs> hey, sometimes. Sometimes I feel that way. <laughs> Mon cam time when somebody quits doing a job, you say, maybe he got tired. <laughs> now, what about Kim Hot? Kim Hot. What about Boat Goat? <laughs> Oh, oh, you don't want that. That's don't when, you're just, when your dog is absolutely greedy. <laughs> Boat go oh. it means a hard stomach. Oh, oh uh oh. A true uh, Kaiwa lady would not call anybody that. No. Hmm. I name hot though. That's the worst way when somebody makes sport of you. Hmm. I named hot though. Hot is to make, uh, I know I've had it happen, seen it happen. Hot. hot That's God. when you, it's not nice. Yeah, hot cars. You're making fun of somebody. Yeah. Oh, oh cute. That's a cute picture down there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's my background on my computer. Um, and pay bomb do on the help. And pay bomb do means getting ready to laugh and they're smiling. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, 626. Okay, so what we were trying to do is trying to go through and try to write down what we're hearing in these recordings. So we had, um, we were just kind of going through, I think we were just barely starting with um, Grandma D's father. And I think we were still, we hadn't even made it through <laughs> his speech. So I'm gonna go ahead and play his speech again so we can like, you know, catch up where we were, so. And this is me trying to write it down. This is only, this is phonetics. I'll clean this up and put it in, you know, Mackenzie and phonetics. But this is just so we can keep track of the translations that we're making. Okay, so I'm going to press play and um, we'll listen to it all the way through. Then we'll go back and add to these translations here. Okay, uh, cool. Ah, uh, On e, go a go. Don't get a go. Don't get a go. Don't get a go. Oh, go on, 
Okay. Wow. Uh, before we start over, um, uh, I'll just because I, I don't think uh, Miss Marion or Grandma Dorothy had a chance to hear it last week. So, uh, Grandma Dorothy, do you want to make any comments on the recording before we go back? First of all, he starts to talk and he says, The first thing you do with children is to tell them when somebody else is talking, you listen. Politely, listen politely so you'll know what they were saying. Do not talk when someone else is talking, and I do that a lot. And then he mentioned the word I love, omoiko on. Omoiko on. You can be caught on that way and be real lovable when you're so caught. I mean, when you sympathize with people and feel sorry for them or feed a dog if you see it or return things if you find them and know where they belong or just as a young person. And that's Omoy call. And those are just the two I picked up because I love them. And that was Dolores's dad, I think, that was talking. Uh, what does Omoy call mean? It means to be sympathized with everybody and take them things or help shake hands and say, can I help you? Or like okay. uh, Martha Addison never forgets me, for instance, whenever they have sweet breads or something, she'll bring it by. And I think that is so lovable. But oh boy, it's things like that doing for your elder people. And or you could pick up something and say, let me help you. Or just all the way helpful. That's oh my call. And oh, and a, and a dash, I guess, and moy, like soy. <laughs> That's my verb. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Soy, you know, like oh my. Or M-O-I, however you want to say it. The way I'm just getting the pronunciation. 
Hondi o moiko on maton. He also said, if you have this quality, you will be, what is it? I'm not all, all day or something. What do you say? Would you play melody? He just really taught, we should pick that whole speech up and get the <laughs> koans he's got in there. You can be koan in so many ways. And it doesn't necessarily mean money. Maybe not. Would you remember that last part? He said, if you were Omar Khan, you're, it just means that you'll be well thought of. That's, that's what it sounds like. You will be well, kind of be well known, I guess, for your helpfulness like that. He said, yeah, he. Yeah, he said, can he all day? Yeah. And then, uh -huh. All kind of ways to be nice. Mm -hmm. When someone even smiles at you and you're feeling bad, that sure makes you feel good. Oh. Or even <clears throat> a how are you? Oh, uh -huh. uh, Miss Marion, do you want to add any um, comments? Uh, let me see. Just a minute, I'm chewing on something. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. We have a lot of Kiowa words, Kiowa relatives, <laughs> Kiowa knowledge. <laughs> And this is real, yeah. Oh boy, no. And he said it was our language is fascinating. I mean, that's the word I'm using. It's homey. Some of it is good. Well, and today we reflect on the words that we know. Don't forget the words. And we, um, well, he just wants the words to be, you know, kept alive. And then he gave the example that uh, Dorothy just talked about as her children or a child speak to them, or when someone's speaking or teach that child. But when someone is speaking for the child to listen, and after he's saying, and it should and comments could be made. And the child should sit without speaking and listen. And the rest of that Dorothy and Dolores added. So oh. that's my comment. Oh, appreciate that. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna, play it. Um, so we want to uh, translate into English what he's saying for his first part. So let me, I rewinded it. So I'm going to play this again. So <clears throat> I'm going to play this first line here. And then I'm going to ask you all to give me the translation. Uh, cool. On e. Go, go. Don't get Go, don't Okay. So, how would you translate Anki? Long ago. Long ago or in the past. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And the Kaiwa people? Mm-hmm. Kaiwa people. Kaiwa um, people. Mm-hmm. How about this? Tong uh, Gya Da. He's talking about the language. They had a language Word. again. Kaiwa yeah. had a language. Gya Gya Da, the language. Kaiwa language. 
Toitanga, Kiowa language, right? Yeah, middle language, the Kiowa language. Okay. Now, the, now we'll go to this next one here. Oh, that, and that was so nice to starting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like how it's a, it's a good example of how we could start a speech. Yeah. <laughs> good example of how our Kiowas were and are. Regular day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, cool. Okay. Instead of son, it's Saul. Yeah, they had brains and <laughs> yeah. They were intelligent. That's the tr truth though. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were smart. They had the knowledge. They had knowledge. Mm -hmm. What is he saying here? Goi kyakomba ado. They are the Kiowa people. That's exactly what yeah, it is. Oh, that's Kiowa. good. To get big, yes, so. <laughs> I guess you just said a new way how to think. Yeah. Or like oh, okay. Knowledge, oh, then, but I think how to think is. And like, bay ya don't ya to the gooey bay, bay ya don't ya to the gooey bay, doggy the toba, bay ya don't ya to the gooey bay. And that's what he's saying. They had get bay, guess all a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Oh. Um, is there any other interpretation to this phrase here? Or is that, would you say that that's accurate? Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty accurate. Okay. All right. And I think this one is probably similar. So let's hear it. Not so on the They knew how to think. Right. Yes. <laughs> That's it. They knew how to think. That's true too. <laughs> Wait, we don't know how to think right now. <laughs> I guess I better I pay attention, huh? I better pay attention. <laughs> All right. If you're uh, on the roll. <laughs> <laughs> knew how to think. I, I'm, I'm, I agree with it. They sure did. Uh, I'm gonna make a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> <Big. laughs> okay. So now we're on this one right here, and um, we had a couple thoughts here for the translation. So here's the next one. Go. Oh. oh. Is it an aka? Is it an aka? Anyway, is it always? Yes. Oh, oh, uh, every way or always or suddenly he said go home they all go and then get Play it again Play it again. okay let me uh rewind it about go 10 go seconds darn that put head Play in son. Yeah. Well, do I get yes go oh go on the oh yeah when it was straight, yeah, pay Did he say go, uh, 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 go, uh, go? No, uh, go, uh, go. He said, he's gone. Uh, he's gone. Uh, he's gone. Uh, he's he's out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything, anything. Mm -hmm. 
That was straight. Something that whatever is good. Honda get paid, It's this one. Go up, go Honda, Haya get paid, Yeah. And so you said this one is always go up, go. Like anything that is good. You know, that's Brenda's grandmother's guy will name, Fade. It's like pointing out. I think Marion said anything that is good. Yeah. Straight. I guess straight forward or I don't know. Yeah, like that. Just leave that. It's fine. Hey, they know it's straightforward. You're doing it right, straight, honest. Mm -hmm. Hey, they know. Oh. Hey, they, they can be God, tried. Hey, they can be Use one of them verbs and you say, hey, they know. Straight, going forward. Straight yeah, that's just doing it straight, honest, fair, good, covers so, everything. Bay, they dot. So this is another. I've already caught a couple things that we could think of as a value, a Kiowa value. Yeah. yeah. This and bay, you can't say dot. you might get mixed up with Beilto, but this is bay day. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. so straight, right, or honest? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm uh, making some notes so I can make sure we're Ooh, getting that. The other one. Put on a plaque. Oh. <laughs> a plaque. Like and that. we'll be listening for the one we talked about earlier when he, you know, later on in the speech, the Omoi Kong. So at the hand. God, it's powerful, but it's really true. Okay, let me let me play that again and then we'll go to he's gonna I'll just let it play to these next two lines. Okay, so uh, let's see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so are these accurate right here? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh boy, no. It's real. Mm -hmm. Real. Mm -hmm. It's real. Uh, and then what about his neck? The, how, how, how do you say this? Hanasa. Hanasa. Hanasa Hoga. He says, Hanasa Hoga. He says, a good song. Let me, let me rewind it so we can Wait see. Again. Okay, let me go back 10 oh, seconds. That yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Okay. As long as you don't ruin yourself. You won't make us. So you won't make a mistake again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you'll do right, you won't make a mistake. Mm -hmm. I do it. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. my contribution is. See what yeah. Marion and Dorothy and Martha now have to say. Damn right. It sounds good that way. <laughs> Uh, that, should, that should go on something and put it put his name down. So at, that is worth a quote. Uh, oh, all right. I'm gonna make oh, this. Uh, can we uh, do the uh, literal no, translation, the word by word translation for these for for the, what he's saying? Uh, so huh, uh, So this is. Like, how would you put it as the literal translation? Han, not? Ah? Like, it's written down the way it said. You need to know later, huh? God, that's nice. I like that. Oh, I saw a whole thing. Then nothing will happen to you. That's bad. and they were so. Our our language is so pretty. They were so cautious, like saying that is said with such finesse, and it's it's Kiowa. Oh, oh, that's what that's what they would say when they would tell you not to get in the trouble. But we were raised on ladies. Oh, hope makes you ruin something. <laughs> you don't want anything to ruin you. Ruin the person. Makes you lonesome. So what's the word for mistake? Or is there so a codal? Not so, so codal. Yeah. One day yes, so codal. So uh, mistake. Mistake so might be so codal. Do, uh, do oh. not so codal. It's S A. Dash no S A W the way it sounds. Oh. Dash K O L E so codal. So codal. I, yeah. A lot of There's times. There's no I, D. I, no D. D. So codal. So codal. So codal. Codal. So there. So the codal. I say that so much in my. In my prayers, Hyundai is a cold dog, but you know, like that. All of my sins so forgiven. So you won't, I guess, so you won't go wrong or so you won't make a mistake. Absolutely. And in my church, they're called sins, you know, so cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, myself. Oh. Okay. No D sounds so cold. So ha yeah, uh, so, and so pole so means cold. be quiet. <laughs> yo and yo. Melody. Go ahead. Go ahead, Grandma D. Does it now? I forgot. No harm will come to you. You won't. That's right. Oh. Like sometimes I've heard when I was little, if someone passed away or something, maybe an accident, that they saw a whole gap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And Saw or saw? So and so saw a whole gap. Mm -hmm. Is it yeah, as ruin? Uh, yeah, ruin, like ruin in a way. Ruin. Okay. So mm -hmm. you could use oh. it as an illness, or you could use it as your character, mm -hmm. or you could saw a whole guy. Or if you left the church mm -hmm. or something like that, too, at Sahoga. Oh. Do y'all see it that way? 
It's a powerful word. That's awesome. That's the usage. Oh, context. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to press play and we're going to go through these next three lines here. So are these accurate? Pretty much. I'll say pretty much. Don't get get um me. There's some talk that is made. Yes. Thanks. Maybe. Don't get your own doll. Sayings, maybe. Writings, maybe. Slangs. You saw me. And then, bag, get, ag. Okay, I'm gonna press play. We'll go to this next, this next two here. Don't get your arm down, me. Monday. Yeah, um, okay, let me go here. Thank you. Is it he said? Honde? It's like in this past tense. Mm -hmm. They say their songs that were made. I mean, they're saying stone get. Yeah, um, um, like the church songs. You remember we were saying? So long. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't get oh. get um, don't me. Oh. Go ahead. Don't okay. go. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he. Yeah, but I don't know. So, go boy, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are are these accurate? How you would translate it? Eh, Hondeki, ya fatal tie day dog, no. Sog, ya, oh boy, no. Good words. Thinking. Thinking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Really? So yeah. Oh boy. It's really that one. All right, guys. Oh, okay. Now we get into the part we didn't get to. So we'll try to see how far we get here. So we're going to try to see what he says next. I know you did. Call Tonka. Oh, come. Oh, I get down. Okay. That's a lot of words. Let me rewind it. <laughs> I got lost. So, go boy, though. Let him call Tonka. Oh, come. Don't get all gone. should know all of that. Her dad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, dog. That's the way it was. It's real. 
Okay, let me go back. So, cowboy, though, let him call Tonka outcome. I get out and eat the Is he saying goitonga? No, it's gall. G-A-U-L, gall. He uses he uses this one uh uh divider or not a divider adder that he says con. That's old when you're saying and or something like that. Yeah. Oh. I hear, I hear Isabel T. Hitchett use it too. Con. Con. Or Beto. It's like Beto. Oh. So that, that's just like a divider in Taiwan, you know, or something, okay. not a divider. In that story that Alma told, she used that a lot. And so, didn't we say it was and so? Mm -hmm. so she keeps adding on things to describe. Yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. She, she did a lot in that story. Yeah, she adds on. And we, and we then said it was and, and so. And then I like I like that that because it con. I hear Wilma use it too. I hope they. Mm -hmm. Elma, victory. Elma. Con. Oh, okay. Let me see if we can catch the last part of what he says in this yeah. sentence here. Let him call Tonka outcome. I get out Okay, is he saying con here? Yeah. No. That's why I mentioned it to start the, the snick sentence. Con. I've heard storytellers say that too from a long time ago. Melody, I guess you have to play it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if we can catch really, it. No I, I can't remember. I get the, what he's saying, but I can't do that word for word. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's tricky. I get, but... I, get the, I get the idea of what he's saying, but, you know, Aww. he's just saying that those of us that still know how to he's told that you know are fluent in our language and something i don't know he's bringing that out something those of okay. us that know how, still know how to speak i think since you're saying you're saying a lot i think that's what he's saying okay something, something along that line okay all right let's see um i'll try to stop it right after he says a hondeki that's where i'll stop it okay so cowboy though let him call tonka how come eto get oh i get down eat the tonka how come Anyone catch what he says after Atba? Uh, he said Hato. H A T A E. Hato. He says, So, yeah, yeah, oh boy, y'all. They ain't go, 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 this language. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Get high, girl. When uh, get high, girl, I don't know. Listen to, we still hear it or something like that. 
Okay, let me rewind it. Okay, it's the long sentence. I know. <laughs> okay. Trying to get it accurate of what he's saying. So, the old boy, though, let him call Tonka outcome. At the get all I get down, he get down out the key. Yet something, I guess. Get, he said, get. G Y T. That pronoun get. Get all. Hi, yeah. That's what I thought of it. Get all. Hi, yeah. Get all. Yeah, G Y A T. We, we uh, hear it. All. Oh, all. Okay. All. Get all. Hi, yeah. Yeah, so far oh. that must It must be really good because he's he's emphasizing the tiger. Yeah, tiger. Mm -hmm. He must have oh. been oh. Dolores, he must have been up in age when he was doing this, huh? Yes, and I, I guess his oh. name oh. Naughty. Yeah, but you know, you start to Wow. He's so fluent. Oh, God. All of them were. Oh. Okay, I'm going to rewind it to, to see if we can get that last part of that sentence there. It is really long. <laughs> or his thought, not a sentence, his thought. Okay. Yep, I don't know. So, go boy, though. Let him call Tonka outcome. I thought, get all I get down, he could die out the key. Get all I get down. Every day. Oh, I, I said, get bail body thought if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And he started mm -hmm. out with on T. I like that. On T. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay, let me rewind it. It's okay. We we'll, we'll keep going back till we get it. So, go boy, though. Let him call Tonka outcome. I thought, get all I get down, he could die out the key. Go on. Eat. Ooh. In the past. That O that is kind of like we said, ooh, way back in the past. Yeah. Go on E. Uh, okay. Now, I, I forget what he says before he says, eh, Deki. There's like a word in there. Let's see. Come. I thought, yeah. Oh, I get down. He get down out the key. Is it day, ah, day, ah, eh, ah, day key? Hi, yeah, da, on key. There's, there's an O in front of that on key. He said, ooh, oh. on key. They said, ooh, on key is how he sounded. Okay, he emphasized that for a long way back. Yeah. Okay, let me go back. Here. Long key, we did something way back in the past. Let him call Tonka outcome. I thought, get all I get down, he get down out the key. Does he say day, uh, a hand key? Not sure. He said something right behind that key. on key day. It might have been day. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to play it again. 
Whoops, went too far. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Skipped ahead. <laughs> Sounds like it's day uh a key. Oh hi get all a key. Today. Oh, yes, uh, I get up. Oh, so we hear. Yeah, mm -hmm. they mentioned the ear, you know, do you hear it? Get oh, hi, get up. Oh, get up. We still know it. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. And there's something that he's saying, and then a hundeki today, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let me play it one more time. Let him call Tonka. Oh, come. Eto. Get. Oh, I get down. He got down out the key. On get. Oh, I got it. We don't. He's Boy, go. He said, Boy, go. On get. Boy, go. No, we didn't forget it. We didn't forget it. Yeah. They, and then he says, they aim at the beginning. They aim. Did we say that means that way? Yes. Mm -hmm. They aim. Con. Con and so, don't get. Ah, go. Hey, dog, get. Ah, I get a on key. Something ain't hunting. Well, gotta catch that. Uh, yeah, boy, yeah. That will, okay, see if anyone can hear what he's saying there. Get all oh, high, get out. I think that's how they get. Let him call Tonka. Oh, come. Eto. Yeah. Oh, I get down. He got down out the key. On get, oh, I got it. On, on get, boy, go. Stay. On get, boy, go. Stay. What did he say? On get. You don't forget. On get, boy, go. On get, it's oh, on. go. Oh, on. Yeah, on get, boy, go. We didn't forget. Hon, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, go. Mm -hmm. We didn't forget. Hon, yeah, boy, go. It's, we didn't forget. Hon, get boy, go. It's G Y E T. That's why it's. Oh, okay. There's no H in there. Hon, you know, ga and gat, those pronouns, ga and gat. Yeah, we got oh. a lot of gat. Gat is all of us. Con get boy yeah. go. Mm -hmm. get boy go. We didn't forget. Did you catch what he's saying before he says today? I'm going to move this down here. I had a key hung get boy go. So, how would you translate this? Let's see. Hold on, let's see. So you said day aim on dong ya a ga he da. How what how would you translate this? So that way and so and then our language. What does that mean? Anyhow, the key hon get oi go on this day. We haven't forgotten. Well, we have not forgotten. Um, okay, so for how he starts it off when he says day aim, how how would you translate this last part here? Ah, ga, hate, da. 
still. Mm -hmm. still. Some words word still. Basically, S-T-I-L. Yeah. Oh, still. Oh, and still. Okay. Um, and then the get ah uh, is I get we here. Mm -hmm. We we here. We it's really what you're saying, but it's like we understand or you, know, you learned it. We understand um, uh, long ago. That um, we here we understand, and then that ooh on key is starting his next part of the sentence. It's long ago. They started it long ago. Okay. Like new part of the sentence. I've got it written down. Yeah. Um, long ago. Okay. And then he starts over. Or then he says today. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to stop there <laughs> because we're 15 minutes over. <laughs> I lost track of time, but um, we'll, uh, we'll pick up at, let's see, six minutes and 30 seconds, 6.38. When? Uh, next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, that was fun. I feel like we're we're slowly making a dent in there. Now we only have a minute and a half left of his speech. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting there. Um, let's see here. To close us up, uh, Miss Marion. They don't, sorry. I hold a dog e. Pay on ta dog e. I'm talking yan dog. Go get combo, God. Take go pay dog. Mom, they a chan get off. Dog horn town. Go it don't get eight more hammer. Go it don't get get oi. I get so I go my tongue go go sand. I get so eight more dog. Boy, Bob, boy, yeah. Boy, don't get a peek, yeah. Dog, he don't give him dog. They hungry, young, high, dog. Dog, horn, dog, 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 Day, holy God. We thank you, Almighty God, for all your many blessings and be with us all and praise your holy name. And thank you for watching over all of these students and thank you for all your many blessings and bless each and every one. Bless Dorothy and Dolores and Martha and all those who can speak the language, Lord. Just praise your holy name and give you all the glory and watch over our people. Through your son, Jesus Christ's name, Almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we just place everything into your hands and lean out to man's understanding. Through your son, Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Don't be done. Amen. Aho. 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 Awesome. Well, I hope everyone has a good night and stays warm. <laughs> And uh, we'll talk uh, next week. And um, actually, let me see. Is next week on the schedule? Hey, Phil, let me look. Um, okay. 
so I think we're skipping next week, the 21st, because that's the week of uh, Christmas. Um, so we'll we'll be back on December 28th. So two Wednesdays from now. That know. last week of December. Melody. 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 I'd like Monday. to invite everyone that can come Christmas night to Rainy Mountain starting at seven o'clock. Oh boy, I want to say. Oh, <laughs> oh awesome. I want to bag. Oh. <laughs> Better hurry, <laughs> Kathy. I know. Right? <laughs> I love those Christmas sets. Sure. Oh, yeah. oh, so, that's awesome. Or, other, or go to any other Kiowa church, you know, they usually have mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah, to see it. It's Christmas night, it's not Christmas Eve. That's a distinction. Yeah, that oh. was Christmas. Oh, yeah. awesome. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah. Ours is over on Christmas Eve, you know. It's yeah. Sunday, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, go in rotation. We got. <laughs> yeah. go. Oh. Hey, go. 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 Oh. I got the big toy. Oh. Oh, 